Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, first of all, uh, Jamie, I'm so honored uh, to be on this virtual stage uh, with these other great leaders here speaking today. I appreciate the opportunity and uh, man, whew, so excited. This, this uh, event has been awesome. Now today, uh, my topic is going to be on appropriate expectations. Um, you know, appropriate expectations. I mean, what does that make you think of? You see uh, the two sides of your mind there. And uh, I'm, today I'm gonna actually have a, a little bit of visual imagery just to really get your senses involved for those who are, who are viewing uh, on the virtual stage. So let's start out with this. You know, how many people have ever seen or, or watched the uh, uh, movie uh, Captain America? Okay, or know that that fictional character, Captain America. Well, Steve Rogers is Captain America. Well, right now he doesn't look so you know so much like Captain America. But what happens is sometimes people want to be transformed. They want to become um, you know a superstar. They want to become a super soldier, a super agent, uh, like a like a Arturi, like a the Leo, or like a Golka, or there's so many others, like a Andrea Rogers, right? But Mr. Steve Rogers uh, in this movie. He actually underwent a transformation with a top secret serum, okay? A super soldier serum, all right? And therefore, at the end of the day, he became who we know as Captain America. That visual right there, I know you're looking at it, right? But here's what I will tell you, that that's fiction. But guess what? There is real um, power in your mind, even how you, what you visualize, what you think about, and what you ultimately become. So I'm gonna actually show you some fact. So I'm a father, father of five. I'm very blessed, pray for me, right? But I'm very blessed. There's a picture of my son. I'm a little vulnerable right now with these images on the screen, but it's, it's for a purpose, just to get you in, enrolled in what I'm talking about. So actually uh, you see there, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, not a, I'm not a very tall in stature guy, so the weight could be deceiving. But bottom line is, you know, I put my mind into becoming healthy. OK, this is actually a few years ago and every anybody knows once you achieve something, once you do something, once you have mastered something, you can do it again. But, Jamie, I, I saw you. Many people might have not have noticed, but you're looking great, brother. But guess what, brother? I'm all, I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. I'm all, I'm, I'm going to make it happen. Right. Get back. Matter of fact, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it so much. I'm going to put it the next time I put my, my uh, picture up. You know, I'm going to have a couple packs there. But anyway, my point is, is that your your logical mind versus your emotional mind. In building business, so many people let emotions dictate and determine what they're going to do on a day-to-day -day basis versus the logics of it all. You know, and I'm here to share with you that I'm I'm a human being just like you. Sometimes I have these pushes, these pulls. You know, we talk about the heart being, you know, uh, 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 you know, with your feelings or emotions. We know that your body, that your heart pumps oxygen through your blood, right, through your body. But people associate heart with emotions, right? And then your mind, you have this push and pull effect. And what it does is based on what's happening in your mind, you let that determine your actions, whether good or bad, right? Entrepreneur versus employee mindset. Here's a few little uh, marks I want to share with you. As a business owner, you are the CEO of your own business. As an experienced broker, you are the only, you're, you're the leader. You're the one who makes it happen on a day-to-day -day basis. If it's going to be, it's up to me. But employees say, whose job was that? Right. From a business owner's perspective, you have to have a, a five, I say not three to five, I say five year or more game plan, a.k.a. pro forma. For those of you who know, I, I come from the, the trucking world. Right. My parents owned a trucking company when I was in my uh, early 20s. And I understood having goals, having a game plan or pro forma. Employees are hour to hour thinkers, sometimes minute to minute. Right. How many of you? Maybe have gone if you're still, you know, employed or working. Maybe you say today I'm not going to do much, right? <laughs> or maybe you feel good in the morning, or maybe you don't feel good in the morning. You say, oh, today's going to be a crappy day, so you don't, you know, that's just the, what you expect. Well, guess what, folks? As a business owner, you are proactive, not reactive. As a CEO, you view being accountable as a positive. You, you, a checks and balances hold you accountable to your goals, right? Employees view as a negative. How many times I know as I'm talking to leaders on the line and I, I, I actually view every single person that's on this uh, virtual stage or on this virtual conference. You are a leader because you're doing something that some people aren't doing. You're trying to feed yourself the proper nutrients, the proper nutrition to build your business. Right. Well, guess what? 
make sure you take those accountability calls or those measurements, take them as all positives. Accomplished people have coaches, mentors. Success leaves clues. Make sure you are following your coaches. Make sure you're taking this information you're hearing today and applying it. See, there have been some coaches that have taken their success principles, their work ethic, and applied it in, in a form of basketball. You got Michael Jordan, right? Phil Jackson, one of the greatest coaches because he was able to take great uh, uh, professionals, all-stars, and be able to mold them to help get the most out of their God-given talents, right? He did it again. So it's not a one-hit wonder. Did it again with, you know, God rest his soul, the late, great Kobe Bryant, right? Again, Phil Jackson. We're talking about two dynasties, y'all, the Bulls dynasties and the Lakers dynasties. Just giving you a, a little perspective. Now, also, at the end of the day, you have to have vision. So I'm going to move forward. And this is where it really gets really gets to the good stuff right here. You have to have vision, the ability to think about plan for the future with imagination and or wisdom, right? You think about the people like you heard from earlier, Mr. Mora Arturi. You talk about people that have had years. We're talking almost two decades, I believe, in the industry. He had a vision. That's why even though he didn't achieve success early in his career or the success that he you know, desired for his family, he stayed at it. He stayed going after the goal. He stayed taking the action. And he's, and of course, ultimately now you see very successful, right? And, and just at the tip of the iceberg, you got to make a plan, write it down. Number one, focus on what you want to achieve. Don't focus on what you don't want. So many people talk about, it's one of the, it's one of the, it's not a mystery of success. It's actually one of the, the known things that if you think about what you want, you think about what you want to achieve, what you want to do. That's what you think about the most. What you think about the most is what you'll actually do and achieve. Set your goals high and challenge yourself. And again, set yourself up for success, but you want to stretch yourself. Just like uh, Mr. Steve Cooper said, what? Become 1% better. Look, don't wish it were easier. Wish you were better. Make it, make it, don't wish, make it happen. Take consistent and determined action. Success is a journey, folks. At the end of the day, it's your story. You are the author. Believe in your potential. Share and promote with enthusiasm. I mean, if you don't believe it, who else is going to believe it, right? You got to start with yourself. Tell your face that you believe it, right? Tell your voice that you believe it. Tell your actions that you believe it. Success loves speed. You decide how the story unfolds. Never give up. You know, we talked about get, never giving up. You know, Mr. Jacques Vaughn and Meredith, uh, you know, great friends of mine, great leaders. They talked about the story of people who didn't give up, who, who have a no quit attitude. A leader is one who knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way. At the end of the day, you have to first conceive it in your mind. You conceive it in your mind. You see, you visualize it, right? But you have to truly believe it. Dream big. Be bold. When I got started with, with Experior, I'm telling you, Mr. Myron Tasso, uh, you know, they, them gentlemen out of Canada, they made me believe what it could be in the USA. Now, at the beginning, you're, there's levels to this. So I believed it and I conceived it, but, you know, you don't really see it fully. It all your your dream is always going to be bigger as you achieve more, right? So at the beginning, you know, great leaders you see here, Mr. Jamie Prickett. You know, I tell you, hats off to you, sir. I mean, we're so blessed and fortunate to have this vehicle called Xperia, and uh, man, we're taking it over, right? You said USA, that's what it was, the Xperia Takeover event. First event, Mr. Raza and uh, uh, Beg and Imrana Beg, Eric uh, and Mary Rob, Dr. Mary Robinson. Of course, we have great leaders like Jacques and Meredith Vaughn. And there's so many others, Adrian Robinson, another executive director. You know, the executive director leadership is really, uh, you know, important because it actually sets the pace for your team. And we have a great leadership team. You know, you see Jamie there featured. I mean, I'm telling you, brother, these are going to be pictures for the history books because USA is on the map and we're here and ready to explode. And the, the entire company is exploding. So guess what? Visualize this, everybody, Experience and Experience. This is what it's going to be. If it's going to be, it's up to me. That's what you got to say. Again, if you want more, you got to tell yourself you want more. You got to make that decision. Uh, like people said earlier, make the decision. Go out and do more. When you do more, you become more. When you become more, you have more. And ultimately, you have more time, more money, more freedom, more what's important for you and your family. So with that being said, I appreciate the time. God bless everybody. Let's make it happen. And at the end of the day, the future is in your hands. Let's make it happen. Hey, if you like this video or any of the other videos that I have on my channel, stay tuned. We have so many more coming, but I want to make sure that you're in the know, that you know when they're coming. So please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and make sure you hit the notification bell.